In this lesson, we'll learn and discuss system families. So you may ask, what are system families? How do I use them? Well, you may not be aware, but you've probably been using system families to this point if you've been designing or using Revit. Basically, a system family is something that's defined within your Revit project, and it's not an external file that you actually load in. It basically has a predefined purpose and capabilities that you can't change. Now, even with that said, you can edit the system family by modifying the parameters in the element and type properties area. So you may say, okay, well, what are some examples of these system families? Well, things like walls, footings, floors, roofs, stairs, ramps, topography, openings. These are examples of system families. So to see a system family in this actual layout, we can look at the floor. So if you move your mouse over the outer boundary of the floor and go ahead and click it, it'll display the properties in the left for the floor. If you click edit type, this is where I can actually modify the structure of the floor. In the construction area to the right of structure, if you click edit, here I can define some of these parameters within this area to build my floor or build my wall, for example. So again, these are examples of system families. Go ahead and click cancel and cancel again. Now there's also another type of system family that you can incorporate an external file, such as a component file, something you load in. Now these particular system families have flexibility to customize the way they look and a profile to actually create them. Things such as this include grids, levels, and railings. 